Chief Minister of Meghalaya, Konrad K. Sangma, on Thursday, tabled a Rs. 1,592 crore deficit budget for 2023-24, to which is around 3.42% of the gross state domestic product. The CM termed the budget as the people's budget while dedicating it to the people of the state. The government promised to transform Meghalaya and make it one of the top 10 states of the country by 2032 when it will celebrate its diamond jubilee of statehood. Among others, the government said it will strive to double the farmer's income, achieve nearly zero infant and maternal mortality by ensuring 100% institutional delivery, create 5 lakh employment opportunities, create robust sports system to nurture future Olympians. The chief minister said for the next financial year, the GSDP is expected to increase to rupees 46,600 crore, an expected growth rate of 11.5 percent. The state's economy will grow to about 80,000 crores by 2027-28, making Meghalaya a 10 billion dollar economy. The state's own tax and non-tax revenues have also been increasing steadily. As per the revised estimates for the current financial year, our own tax revenue will reach 2,636 crores. Country A, B, whether the fourth set or the sequence B is still in progress. The answer by the government minister is yes, sir. It's still in progress. But the state can provide a favor of power. The status of the world states that any comparable business to the new country published in Hongkong, they did the first part. Uh, we have always maintained that uh, uh, the people are at the center of uh, whatever we do. Hence, uh, it only makes sense that even the budget should be a people-centric budget and the people should be at the core of every policy and decision that we make. And hence, it is with that mindset that uh, we have decided to call it the people's budget. Uh, and the simple reason is that when we are... Um, uh, we're getting the revenues, the receipts, the uh, you know the income as we call it, but uh, it's not in called income in our in, from the government point of view. It's the receipts that we receive. Uh, it is the responsibility of the government to ensure that we spend all of it in, in to ensure that it is used for developmental purpose. So getting money and then ultimately not using it and not using it for development purpose is also in a way. The government is not uh, completing its responsibility and hence it is the duty of the government to ensure that every fund and every receipt that comes in, we judiciously plan out and use it for the overall development and hence we would always see that we strive towards uh, ensuring that we are able to achieve as much of uh, welfare work, developmental work and also our normal revenue, um, our expenditure, uh, normal expenditures that we have, we are able to cover all of them and hence it is a natural and normal uh, process to have a deficit budget.